Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online where we are here with Autumn Promise and our adorable Heather as we continue to watch over Autumn Promise's wayward new friend Emma as she hopefully will be able to adopt the beautiful Mud Skipper and take her to a brand new home. Uh, however, it seems like there is even more paperwork to fill out so let's find out just what's going on. Okay, now it's definitely time to sign the papers and take Muddy back to my stable. Uh, all right, but what do we need to do next? Hold it! Again, Sonia. What is it this time? Whenever you purchase a horse, you should make sure she's been inspected by a veterinarian and a farrier. Not that I don't trust Kirsty, but you know, caveat input. Uh, okay, be prepared, I suppose? <laughs> I can't- I did not do well in Latin. Trust me. She's right, Emma. We should do this the proper way. Totally above board. Uh, caveat emperor is always sage advice. Then in the name of Cave Emperor, I shall do it. Saga, I hope you don't mind taking me on one last ride. Wait for me, Muddy. Be strong. Survive. No matter how long it takes now, no matter how far we must ride, I will find my way back to you. We'll take good care of her. Just get to your farrier, to your vet and farrier. All right. This is kind of hilarious, so let's go ahead and see the places that we need to go now. Um, okay, so we have, we have our lovely mud skipper right here. And then it looks like we need to go over to Moreland and, ah, over to Dundle for the vet. Well, right guys, we were just visiting with a little foal very recently, so I don't know if he'll be ready for us just yet, but let's go ahead and ride back over. We have been making this adventure quite a bit tonight, even though time has been stretched out somewhat for all of you. This has been very fun though, I just... It feels like staying up super late to watch over the little ones. Oh, Emma, are you ready? Yes, Emma. I think that Autumn Promise actually likes it, but I think that Heather just is so confused. Like, every time I can just picture Heather sort of turning her head and bobbing her little puppy ears and wondering, why on earth is that human making all that noise? Is she all right? That's so interesting. But Heather, you're such a sweetheart. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, look at how beautiful all of the will- Wow, look at all those thorns up there! This is such a beautiful and interesting night, and the longer it lasts, the more I notice different things spread throughout the landscape that I've never seen before. I love all the glowing mushrooms. Mistful, I really feel it just definitely, definitely seems like the home of my heart more than anywhere else. I mean, the rangers live here for crying out loud, so clearly if I could buy a home, it would have to be in Mistfall. I'd be totally happy to move here. Look at all the ferns! Look at all the mushrooms! The small, like the, the swallow-sized bees! All right, here we go. Let's see how the little foal is doing. Hopefully he's almost ready to be completely friendly and we can go ahead and turn in his friendliness to the rangers so they know that he's ready to go. There you go, little one. <gasps> yes! All right, the foal has grown more friendly towards us. Fantastic, I'm so relieved. Let's go ahead and cuddle it. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. It's a long night, but I think it'll be one totally worth it. All right, Emma, you need to be patient. Okay, this foal is flying too. That's fine. That's fine. It's always exciting to have flying foals. Oh, can you imagine growing up here too? To that lucky little guy, this is the only world that he's ever known, but look at him follow us. I think this just delights Autumn Promise to no end. Almost there. There we go. Look at you, buddy. All right, I'm gonna give him one more cuddle and one more feed. And then we're gonna pop over to Mistfall and make sure that everything is on the up and up with the vet. All right, are you good? I'll be back later and we'll try to make sure that you become friendly, okay? And we'll give him one more cuddle. There you go. All right, I think he's almost ready to go. And we're gonna get ready to go. And I will meet you guys over in Mistfall so that we can check in on this wonderful pony and make sure that Mudskipper finds her home. Ah, there we go. 
All right, now just to make sure that I can actually find where their house is. Gosh, okay, up here? Ugh, I always get so turned around in Dundal, uh, Dundal, just because it's so adorable and there's so many flowers all over the place and the adorable little hills. Ah, oh, this would have been an amazing place to establish a settlement when it was first built, especially because of that tree. Oh, I love those trees. But alright, enough of my cooing about trees and let's get this pony a checkup with the vet. So, almost there. There she is. You need me to inspect a horse at Burke's Grange? Not a problem. I'll head over as soon as I finish seeing to this patient. Yay! Wow, that was really, really fast, actually. <laughs> so, alright, and then the next location that we need to pop over to is Moreland. But since we are checking in on the foals this very special night as well, let's go ahead and see if the foal over at Silverglade is just about ready for us. Alright, here we go. You ready, Emma? I've been carting you all over town, so I think that this is completely appropriate to go ahead and make use of Silverglades uh, transport for sure. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Do you think that Emma and Mudskipper are a good match? I think they could be. I guess I'm still just a little bit dubious because Emma was so quick to dismiss her at first. You know, she was a little muddy, but... Uh, you know what? We should probably go ahead and give Emma, like, a hair. <laughs> we should probably give Emma a little bit of, um, a little bit of, oh, what is the phrase? Mm, you know, relief, uh, just a little bit of trust that, you know, she was going to figure it out in the end. And now she actually knows what she truly wants out of being able to look beyond the surface and see what's in the heart of the horses all right time to go for little bull you're so freaking cute i love you so much look at you oh you're adorable all right let's let's go ahead and feed him <gasps> he's grown more friendly towards us is he friendly friendly oh my gosh he's friendly friendly you guys yes okay let's go over to moreland and we will be able to report one of the two foals that we were trying to take care of is now friendly <gasps> this is such a happy day emma such a happy day indeed in fact we might even be able to ride easily over to moreland if i just hop skip jump it maybe hmm Hmm. what do you think autumn promise <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so much fun to have Emma riding with us. We might be able to do it. It shouldn't take very long. Let's do this. That'll give us a little chance to have Emma kind of cheer as well. And I don't think it'll it'll take us terribly, terribly long. I actually see Yidris's circus top right there too. I swear, he must have something to do with the reason that they were flying foals. <laughs> the very first thing born in the entire area, being a bunch of flying foals. Ah, uh, and does Yidris actually have a quest for us? It seems that he does want to speak to us, my friends, but I don't know. I'm going to have to pick the perfect horse because I don't think that... Oop, Autumn Promise! Sorry, girl. Oh my. Hang in there, Autumn Promise. That's like, you're not a billy goat. I shouldn't have taken you up a slope that steep. <gasps> Look at the beautiful leaves on that birch tree. Oh, be still my heart. All right, up and over. We should be able to make it to Moreland. There we go. Yeah, we'll get there in no time. <laughs> Can you imagine how wonderful it would be to ride across the open fields? Being able to ride on a horse that is very much a good friend of yours. Oh, Spirit! <laughs> we might even run into Spirit. Is he visiting with Yidris? That would be a little bit of a plot twist. But it would be so amazing just to be out under the night sky, the stars stretching overhead, the smell of the fresh blooming spring flowers all around you. This would be something very, very, very special indeed. Aww. Emma, let's get a little... Oh, wow! Remember what I was just saying about something very special indeed? Yeah. That's a little bit of magic right there. Just a little bit of magic for sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, come on, Emma. Come on, Heather. This shouldn't take us too long. 
And then we can go and report that one of the foals has become friendly. So you're looking for a farrier to inspect a horse? I'd be honored, Miss Emma. Just let me grab my kitchen. and I'll meet you at Burke's Grange. There we go. That was it. Now let's get back to Mistfall. Oh my gosh, are you jumping around, Emma? I miss my little mud skipper already. I know. We'll get back there in just a second. Let's go over and tell the ranger that we have successfully gotten one of the foals to be friendly towards us first. And then we will hop, skip, and jump back over to Burke's Grange. And hopefully be able to go ahead and see Emma united with her beloved little mud skipper, which is going to be so just wonderful. Ah, finally, Violet. So you've befriended another foal. Good to hear it. Here's your reward as promised. <gasps> Yay, look at all that experience. Oh, and there's the friendly little foal happy to see us again. Oh gosh, and that's a good bit of money, but I really am pushing just because it's such a fun way to be able to gain experience and a fun way to spend time with Emma. I wonder if she's starting to really appreciate you know, just all of the horses a little bit more since she's been with us while we've been taking care of these little foals. So let's go ahead and get back to Burke's Grange. It looks like our experts are here. Welcome to the Grange. I didn't know how, I didn't know you made house calls, Conrad. Well, for a friend of Saga, as he swings his hammer in her face, hi. What's the prognosis, Dr. Irene? She's a little underweight, and there's a lot of bloating, even more than you typically see. I think your mudskipper has tapeworms. <laughs> tapeworms, huh? I guess I can learn to look past that. If that's part of who she is, I'll just have to accept it, right? Or I could just set you up with some warmers. It's not that hard to treat. Fun! And Mr. Ma uh, Marsden, how are her hooves looking? By Aideen, your girl here is long overdue for a checkup. She's short one shoe, and the others were left on for far too long. The hooves are a bit dry, which is causing some cracking. I might need to do a little repair work on the right hind hoof, where a piece of the wall broke off. Nothing a little quarantine can't solve. Oh my gosh, that hammer. Can you just imagine, like, he's talking and everyone's, like, dodging as he waves that hammer around? <laughs> now listen here, Emma. This is a good horse, but it will take some extra attention on your part to help her reach her full, healthy potential. And part of that responsibility is setting a regular farrier routine. You call me whenever you have a question. Now you have a good idea of what you'll be taking on. Are you still ready for this, Emma? Are you kidding? I love her more than ever, worms and all! Whee! I'll have what she's having. <laughs> Oh, gracious. Wow, this has been quite the interesting set of adventures for sure. Worms, manicures, adopting a rescue horse is a little more complicated than I realized. But then, maybe it's our imperfections that make us so perfect for each other. Emma, that was delightfully insightful. Well, this is it. I'm ready to take the plunge and buy my very first horse. Okay. <gasps> I get a wee little saddlebag. <gasps> Vintage Lily of the Sa Valley saddlebag. I love Lily of the Valleys and I freaking love green. So this is going to be completely appropriate. I think I actually have one of these. It's so cute. Sonia, Saga, will the two of you witness? Uh, It would be an honor. Sure, why not? Do you, Emma, take this horse? I do. I tell you dirty or clean. I'll take you with your jaunty little trot and weird neigh. I'll take you with your worms and cracked hooves and all the gross things to come. I love you, Mud Skipper. Aww. Oh, I do love a happy ending. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Hello, chicken. I know I want to cuddle you too. Searching for a soulmate has been quite a roller coaster, but to find a horse like Muddy, it's worth it. Thanks for being there with me every step of the way, Saga. You can be my wingman anytime. Oh my goodness. All right. So, Emma and Mudskipper have once again been able to bond and fall for one another. I am so happy for them. And I'm so happy that we have this adorable Lily of the Valley bag, which completely suits Autumn Promise. <gasps> Look at how cute that is. Seriously. Look at Heather. She is so excited to be in her new bag. Look at how cute this is. 
I love Lily of the Valley. That's what this little plant on the bottom is called. We have them that grow in my yard in the spring. They are one of my favorite plants. So this is really cool to have. And it's really fitting for Autumn Promise. She really seems to like being gently decked out in blossoms. And Heather, I mean, you know, is named after the Heather blossoms. So it seems completely appropriate. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and see if we can get that last little foal to be tame for the last ev like last little bit of the evening. Goodness me, I'm ready to curl up in the barn and snuggle with all of my saddle pets and horses and just have a good sleep. For me, time has been twisted and this has been a very long and wonderful day. But we have so many adventures ahead of us as well because we do have quite a bit to do up in Valdel. I know that many adventures will be coming every week and it will be difficult to be able to balance the new adventures with being able to make progress on the old ones. But I'm sure that we're going to be able to find a way. And I know no matter what pace we're able to go or when we're actually able to tackle some of the big adventures, being able to go at our own pace and being able to do it with the friends that we've made and, and spend time with each of the horses and the saddle pets and with you guys, it's really made this journey very magical, even if it has been, compared to others, quite the slow one. But hey, it doesn't matter how quickly you win the race, as long as you still run it, right? And honestly, I'm not much one for racing anyway. I'm totally ready to get distracted on the trails. <laughs> That's where you're going to find all of the good plants, after all. Oh, and I'm kind of going to miss Emma, because now I don't have the Wii following me around anymore. Aww. Alright, little one. Ready for some training? Autumn Promise, this may be the last fall that you might be helping with for the season, but who knows when Autumn Promise is going to be able to help us out again in the future. I could actually see her very happy over in Yarlyheem, helping with all of the little cats and dogs that often need assistance with the vet who lives over there. How's our little one? Doing good, doing good. Let's go ahead and get down for just a second. All right, hang in there, Autumn Promise. We're going to give you a little cuddle and a feed. There you go, little one. Good. And cuddle. And... All right. Well, we still are not quite there. But I am going to go ahead and take good care of this foal for the evening, guys. I think it's just a little bit more cuddling. And then we will have yet another foal to report to the rangers with. But whew. I know that I'm ready to go ahead and rest in the stable. So next time when we come back, we will see what new adventures are waiting for us. And we will see if we can finally take the time to tackle whatever is going on up at the waterfall in Valdel. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the sake of Emma's perfect soulmate search. And if you would like to join us in our future rides, do please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.